I want to quickly take a second to talk about one of my favorite node packages called um, npm check updates. And it's right here. This is the way you install it. You just use npm with your normal install argument. And I'm going to install it globally so that I can get it uh, from any path location. I can run it from any path location. And it's called npm check updates. And what it does for you is it checks your packages.json file for any um, outdated dependencies. So I'm just going to type to the console this packages.json file. You can see I use Angular here at the top, Angular. I use Angular Core. I use a lot of Angular packages. And I'm using 2.1.0. But I'm very curious if any of these dependencies happen to be um, out of date. And so what I'm going to use is I'm going to use that npm um, package that I just showed you called npm check updates. And the, the way I kick it off is by using ncu, npm check updates. And I'm just going to hit enter. And it's going to go and it's going to check. It's going to open up that package.json file. And it tells me, and I can kind of see pretty clearly here on the screen, that I have some outdated packages. In fact, it shows me that my Angular packages are outdated. And if I wanted to, I could pass in a parameter to that ncu with dash u, which will actually go into my packages JSON, JSON file and update these uh, packages to 2.1.1. And the next time I would run ncu, it would say that everything's um, has been updated. In fact, let's go ahead and just run it. Just to, just to show you how it works. It's basically telling me, okay, I've updated, and you kind of see that last line close to the bottom there. It says up, updated or upgraded my package JSON file. And now if I run NCU, it's examining my package. It says you've got all the latest uh, dependencies. Now, this doesn't give us give me any any beta packages or any maybe newer packages that might be in development. And if I want to see those, I can use a lot of times I use the dash T and it kind of it'll examine my package JSON file and it tells me ionic angular and my ionic my ionic angular package is showing me those nightly uh, builds I can see that I'm using RC1 well they have an RC1 with a certain uh, date time stamp as far as their tag goes so I can kind of see that maybe there's something coming up in development the other thing I sometimes use is dash G and it tells me that um, this is my my npm is actually out of date, and I'm using 2.1.5. And this is showing me my global in node packages that are out of date. If I use ncu-n, it's going to examine my packages file, and um, it also shows me that. Um, not only is my Ionic Angular package out of date, which you can see here on the last line, but also some of my dev dependencies are out of date as well. Um, and sometimes significantly out of date. Now these are just far, kind of minimally out of date, but... Um, and then if I type in, I think if I type in ncu-h, I can get a help screen. And you can see that the dash g does check global packages and the dash in gives you the newest versions instead of just the latest stable versions. And then dash T gives me, it finds basically the highest version available instead of just the latest version available. So that sometimes the, the numbering schemes um, are a little um, out of date with just the last, pack, last published package um, out there for NPM. But a lot of times I use dash T and dash N just to show me, give me an idea of what packages might be being updated uh, in the near future. And then dash G just tells me if any of my global packages are out of date. There's a lot of probably other um, um, niceties that uh, you could you, that you could do. Um, you could upgrade, reject, upgrade all. Um, there's some things you can do that's just checking optional dependencies. Um, but for for the most part, I just kind of just use NCU alone, and it'll tell me if if all of my packages are upgraded to the last latest stable version of that package.
Hope that helps you if you're looking to find an easy way to keep your package.json file up to date.